Well, at least he's got pants on is the important thing. Hey, everybody, it's Sunday. You know what that means? Murder Elbow Inc. Uh, goes off on the Margu campaign with the, our tri-generational uh, campaign. We're having a good time with this. Uh, follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to buy our cool stuff, of which I have nothing close, it's down there. Uh, if you want to join us in Discord, it's down there. Most importantly, if you want a seat on one of our one-shots or our talk shows on Tuesday, M Hobo Inc., Twitter, Gmail, let us know. We'll get you in there. Uh, thanks to Pirate Dog Dice for giving us dice that roll a little bit too high some days uh, for my liking. And, of course, uh, oddfishgames.com uh, and their product, Adventure Sense. If your game stinks, uh, make it stink better with Adventure Sense. Folks, this is the Margu campaign. This is the Nazumi Ruins Adventure we will catch you up here in just a minute, but first let us introduce you to our fine cast, starting with the youngest member, one of the Franks. Let's be Frank here. Uh, Frank Jr., who are you? Who are you playing? I am Man Fang, who is a man of obvious smarts and intelligence. I have my cerebral cortex, which I just learned, means brain, massive. It's ginormous. You need to know this. I have a crown of a crown of crowns, crown, and I have the best rolls in the land, as you know. Aren't you a dragonborn? Yeah. yeah. What's your intelligence? It's, you know, it's high, high, real high. Like eight. There's, there's no number that can explain how. High. Well, <laughs> what is it that gives you a minus three on every roll? You gave it, you weren't supposed to say that. As you continue to <laughs> shovel your backstory at us, we'll move on to our gambling man. AJ, tell us a little bit about you and your character. Hey there, I'm AJ, and I'm playing Felix the Rogue, a, uh, the last sane party member. And I may or may not be smuggling some diamonds, Pulp Fiction style. Ding! Big old diamond. Big old oh, the diamond. Biggest ones I could carry i'm betting you run into problems with that <laughs> uh next up jason jason tell us a bit about yourself and about your character uh, i'm playing copious full bitters the third a gnomish witch who is currently uh styling with uh rings on every finger necklaces whatever he can get away with he's a bedecked little gnome at the moment everything that'll take a ring everything that'll take a ring not everything. <laughs> and one of those rings is a personal favorite of mine. Uh, finally, last but certainly not least, the elder statesman of the group, Other Frank. Uh, you got Franks all over the place. Uh, Frank, tell us about yourself. Tell us about your character. I'm Leaf the half or half Elf Druid, uh, and I am truly the only sane member of this party. What was that uh, 70s game show? Uh, whose line is it anyway? Or I think that was back on again. Um, isn't it? Yeah, what is it? It's tell it the real Frank. Like yeah. Cedric the Entertainer's doing it or something. Yeah, but it's uh, I am a I am an employee. Blah 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 blah. Yeah. To tell the truth. Frank to Evan tell did. the truth. There it is. Yeah. Uh, nobody, nobody in this party's going to fit that. <laughs> I'm going to tell you right now. They can all stand up, and they're all liars. I can you know, convince you otherwise. I think Copius <laughs> needs a ring to kind of, we'll say, assist him in that. Folks, as we've told you, this is the Nazumi <laughs> Ruins. Our uh, band of six is whittled down to four currently. Nothing bad has happened to the other two yet. Uh, they are guarding the precious zonky mounts that these guys uh, one very well in soap. Uh, currently, they are in the middle of the Tabaxi jungle exploring total ruins. You heard that right. Tabaxi jungle, total ruins. They have uh, been able to explore over the last week approximately 70, 75% of the old ruins last week if you missed it uh must see uh in the middle of a tsunami slash hurricane they decided to go out and rip off the dragon and damned if they didn't succeed uh despite a very 
aromatic issue with Felix, the last sane party member. <laughs> so uh, if you didn't see that, it is a must see. We ended uh, with uh, the two members, not not present members of the party, uh, getting drunk on the last available ale with Pierre and Phineas, two gnomish archaeologists. Phineas, of course, has led these guys from the Tabaxi capital to the Nazumi ruins as promised, because he is a man of his word or a gnome of his word, as the case may be. Unfortunately for these guys, uh, their supplies have taken kind of a hit here, and uh, Pierre, who got stuck behind, and Phineas seems to have consumed all of the alcohol left in the ruins, and most of the party food is scant. Fortunately, Robert of Zeppelin and Phineas went out on a foraging mission and got three whole I think raccoons or possum or something small uh, in the middle of a tsunami. So kudos to the brave hunter. Uh, we rejoin these guys with their stomachs growling the very next morning. Gentlemen, good news. Uh, the tsunami has passed. Uh, there's a lot of trees down. You guys, uh, Indiana Jones, the diamond studded, egg atop the temple and it cut a razor-like path through the city you are safely tucked away in your yet to be discovered hidey hole and old tavern gentlemen the game is in your hands i like that you said yet to be discovered <laughs> yeah we've got a, a section of this area to uh explore before we proceed further yes and i don't think that that diamond encrusted sphere um, thing is going anywhere but we may have that uh statue freed from its pedestal on the loose looking for us uh, that statue i thought the legs was busted off of it i thought it was busted off of its pedestal either way well i want to yeah. go into the i think we should go to the shrine because i think that's the last place we haven't been no it's not there's other buildings around that shrine we haven't been to. The map uh, presently highlighted here in blue is the area that you have not really done much exploration in. The shrine, as Felix has correctly pointed out, has crumbled down and its stone guardian has been smashed, which was preventing you guys from entering said temple. Yep. Unfortunately, the angle of the dangle from the diamond studded egg uh, put it on a direct collision course with that and it is cracked into the front area. But you guys don't know that yet, so... You guys only made a passing investigation as the rain started yeah. to subside. So you want to go to one of the other buildings? I, I I don't care where we go. You guys choose. I just don't want to be out in the open where the dragon's going to spot us. Right. So we need to stay close. Why, why don't we do? Why don't we cut through? Go out the back door again. Cut through the alley and go across. I and see. that would get us uh, over by the wall between the wall and the other buildings and check out the smaller ones first before we try that temple. Yeah, that works. You just go out the front door and make a run for it. It's a smart idea. I don't know if you should do this. I'm saying go out to go out to the alley, and or the back door, and we can that'll keep us hidden in the alley until we go. The only open space is when we go across in front of the gate, but, and we can get in the back side of uh, the other buildings in that alley over there. But we could also just book it to the front of the shrine. Let's just see what's in there first. Doesn't matter, whatever you want to do. I don't like the idea of booking it out in the open. I think it's a great idea. Yeah, Ali. 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 Alley. Okay, so the alley is marked with uh, this blue X is where the party currently is at, their hidey hole. Uh, the red line indicates where you guys want to go, I assume, if I'm yes. reading this right. The black line is a rut caused by the diamond studded oval <laughs> egg. Uh, at this time, you only know that it hit here. You do not know that it is careened through and is somewhere outside of the Nazumi proper. Yep. Uh, as you go into the alley, the safest bet, 
you pass by the Serpentine Temple, which you have already investigated. Somebody, let's say Man Fang D12 against me. I'm going to have to get hit in the head with a coconut somehow. I don't know, but I rolled a 12, so probably. <laughs> I rolled a 5, so. Uh, a loud screech is heard over top as a loud or a large shadow encompasses the alleyway. The black worm is headed south. Uh, uh -oh. Who wants to roll against me to see if you got spotted? I am not, not, not man thing. <laughs> D12, somebody. All right, let's do this. I'll roll. <laughs> Two. Jeez, Four. 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 Not man thing. Let Felix do it? What the, the hell's wrong with that idea? You hear a loud screech that appears to be doing a turn. Uh, give me insight, everybody. Uh, Did we go back inside the base? What was the um, roll again? Did insight. I insight. 21. Natural 20. 19. Uh, that's okay. Plus two. Uh, Twelve. Man, Fang, you think you're fine. Uh, the modified, the ni the natural, and the 19 all say, we gots to go. <laughs> so, do you remain in the open? Do you go into one of the buildings? Do you make a break back for your base of operations? Let's go in one of the buildings. We don't yeah. want to lead it back into the tavern. Yep. Not only that, but the door is locked behind us by... Uh, ah, dedicated. damn it. Somebody <laughs> remembered. <laughs> uh, this one is the Serpentine Temple. Uh, this one is destroyed. And these two are in rough shape, but passable. Uh, I think the Serpentine Temples were out of head because didn't we kill everything that was in there? Yeah, but wasn't there only one way in and out of there? Well, let's go in the other one then. All um, right. The ones we haven't been in? Yeah. 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 Sure, that sounds like the better plan. That is a good plan. I like this plan. Uh, a horrendous screech is uttered from outside as you guys dive into the odd farthest left, even right. That's an eight. You guys are in this smaller building. It looks like a pottery shop. Uh, the screech overheard echoes through the narrow alley and you hear a soaring noise. Perception, everybody. 21. Six. 19. Uh, that's a 15. Uh, Leaf and Copious V Bitters, uh, you look up at the ceiling expecting grim death to occur, and you notice pinholes form in the roof and closest to leaf, a green drop of fluid uh, falls from the ceiling into the floor with a nice sizzle. That's not uh, we gotta go, guys. That's he's spitting acid on the roof. I think he's just dropping acid on the roof. Yeah, he's sitting whatever on he's the roof. Doing. You should projectile vomiting it at it. No, at no, is, is a pinholes everywhere in the roof that we're seeing or one particular area? It started to your right, the area closest to your hidey hole, and went uh, horizontal across the rooftop. Uh, in sight uh, to see if you figure out what it is. Um. <clears throat> 19. Green juice. 15. I don't know. It's it's just green juice for me. I'm not even going to add anything up. It's, no. Man Fang thinks it's Mountain Dew. It is. Felix, okay. insight? Oh, I, yeah, 18. Uh, Felix and Leaf, uh, you surmise since the pinhole started here and then began to appear this way, you think it was a strafing run, which would coincide with the sweeping noise that you heard outside. Looking around, this pottery shop isn't in the best of uh, fitness, shall we say? And if you remain here, 
if the creature makes another run, uh, you could have uh -oh. dubious results. Yeah, guys, we, we need to get out of here before it comes back and, and does it again. That's acid. No other door, no other there, exit. Look around. Looking around very quickly. There is a back door. What the back door? And Felix, you're the back door man. Back door um, into this other building. Uh, yes. Unfortunately for you, as you hit the back door here, uh, this alleyway is blocked with debris, but you can go into this forward section, which appears to be some kind of tailor shop with rotting fabric in it. Okay. I just realized something. I'm resistant to acid, so I think I'll be fine so far. Are you, are you resistant to You'll also be by yourself, but <laughs> more resistant to teeth, but I am resistant to acid. So if it spit anything at me, I'll be fine. So here's what I heard, Manfang. I'm going to hide underneath Manfang. I think that's a fair assessment. Uh, as you go into the textile place, which had a perfect location, location, location in the real estate world, uh, you notice no pinholes in the ceiling. So the caustic acid. Uh, was not a direct hit here, or it was not a target. Uh, however, the old musty smell uh, is rather, I don't want to say toxic because it's not poisonous, <laughs> but it is a foul odor. Also, something's moving in here. Oh, crud. There is a front door that leads directly out into the main plaza. God, I feel like the trash compactor scene in Star Wars here. Um, yeah. So just, I, I want to picture this for my party. So the thing did a strafing run just on the shop we were in. So does well, anyone else feel like it knows either we've been in the tavern or in the other building? What was its target? I guess is my question. So what are, we got us as we left the tavern. We're going to stay in here. We're going to wait and see if it makes another run. Are we going to run back to the tavern? Are we going to run to the, what are we doing? I'm, I'm taking a pause in here to listen to see if we hear uh, the dragon take another uh, pass. As well. I agree. Let's look around, see if we can see what's making the moving around in Wait, here is first. Is it dark in the room? Oh, yes. it's well the light is coming in through the plaza so you will have some ambient light in the morning uh sunlight oh, it looks like man fang and copious v bitters checking the area have found something oh. everybody roll initiative oh boy oh, oh that ain't Ooh. good for you guys. Night, 19 plus one i've got a What's natural going? 20. I've got a dirty 20. I got a natural 20. 15. Copious? Eight. <laughs> nice shooting, Tex. Uh, the creature's got a 19. <laughs> natural 20. Man Fang is the first one to notice. Oh, shit. There's a swarm of poisonous snakes over here. About the same time that everybody hears a gasp from Copious V. Bitters. Possibly indicating the same thing. Manfang, uh, a collection of vipers, very tiny vipers, very small, very insignificant, come slithering towards you. I am going to back away because I know if I hit them, they're going to hit me and it's going to hurt with poison. Ow. Maybe they think they're, that you are their mother. <laughs> they're not going to like it. It's uh, like a book. Are you my mother? That's right. Copious, uh, or I'm sorry, Manfang, you back up. Leaf, you are closest to uh, Manfang. Felix, you are closest to Copious v. Bitters. Uh, the other 20, which is Leaf, uh, what would you like to do as, Cop as uh, Manfang starts to back up? The so Manfang's between me and the snakes. You, uh, you could step over to one side or the other. It's just a very small, tiny snakes. Probably oh. nothing. Yeah, probably nothing my ass. <laughs> Let's tie up a little ball and play some b-ball. Uh, I'm thinking. Relax, sit back all cool. What you gonna do? All I can think of is Steve Martin uh, with Michael Caine. 
Mother? Are you my mother? Stabs himself in the eye with a fork. <laughs> I, there ain't a whole lot I can do. I'm just going to kind of back off, be, be back over to one side out of from behind him and back a step. Fair enough. Uh, 19. Uh, the cute, charming, very minuscule vipers decide they're going to bite. <laughs> and they're going to go after Manfang and Copious since those were the two that disrupted their sleep. On Manfang, five. Copious, 18. <laughs> Copious, they snap you. I'm going to need a DC 10 versus Constitution or you are going to be very, very sick. Uh, da, 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 da. 12. Right now you're taking five. Ooh. And you're taking half of 46. Dang. Hey, look at that. It says Murder Hobo Inc. on that die. <laughs> uh, 11, 6, 17. So 68 more. So Ooh. five plus eight. Now keep in mind, you did have a long rest. So you got all your spells back and you got all your healing back. Uh, but you're going to start to feel lethargic quickly copious um, um hellacious rebuke when you're done beating on me go ahead i am done beating on you <laughs> good so give me the total on that five and eight and 26 five, five and eight it was 46 but you saved for half so five for the bite eight for the poison Whew. well it could have been a lot worse <laughs> i could have been a lot worse try not saving <laughs> oh my gosh uh, Hellacious Rebuke is on you, DC 14, or take 3 die 10. Uh, that's a 12. What am I saving on? 14. For Wisdom, or? It doesn't say. Uh, unless it's guess. Dex, I'm not getting it, so I don't think it's Dex. So, it nope. Be. How much damage? 3 die 10. Go ahead. I'll give you that. 10, 7, 10, 27 points. Ouch. Maybe I shouldn't have given that to you. Uh, <laughs> good news is uh, Copius has been bit. Bad news is his hellish rebuke has started a small fire uh, <laughs> in the building. <laughs> that shouldn't send off any smoke signals. Uh, that being said, he's we will now a, move. He's got, a black, he's got a black tire on fire, so it's going to be like a smoke signal. That's right. It's like those uh, little snakes that you get at uh, 4th of July. Felix, you are next to Copious. You see him get bit. You see him use his powers of hellish rebuke. Okay, so I have a question about the tube of disruption that I picked up a few weeks ago. Go on. I know that sends out a very loud or very disrupting sound. Give me a little bit more information about the effects of that. It's similar to Thunder Wave. That's not helpful to me. <laughs> uh, it is going to cause a disruption in the sound waves around the area, causing some things to shatter and break. Mm. Well, I don't think that'd be a good idea with a giant lizard. Hey, shut up, man. Fing. You already went. <laughs> yeah, I think it's I was, a fine idea. More <laughs> <laughs> distracting yeah. to the giant lizard flying around. But I'm glad I didn't use it while we were in the pottery room. Uh, I think I'm just going to, after seeing what happened to Copious, I'm going to get the hell out of here. Front door or back door where you came from? Uh, as I recall, the back door, the door we came from was through the pottery barn, and I don't want to go that way. I'm going out the front door into the uh, open plaza. plaza. Open into the plaza. I'm going to go out and turn trying to stay under the overhangs and turn to my right. Yeah, I think the uh, canopy, the canvas overhangs are probably uh, patchy and holy from uh, the years of uh, neglect. But, but you can do that uh, because... Run for the temple! Make... <laughs> Run for the temple! <laughs> nothing makes me happier than splitting the party, especially when there's a dragon in the sky. Uh, Copious, uh, your hellish rebuke has been successful and it is now your turn to attack. Uh, or it Brave Sir Felix ran away, <laughs> ran away. <laughs> Was Copious in a position to. We, we expect away? nothing less. 
you can, I will get a uh, opportunity attack. And how many vipers am I dealing with at the moment? It is called a swarm, so maybe six to eight. <sighs> um, that that. But they might... attack as a pack. Yeah. So. Oi, ay, ay, ay. All right, I'm going to go ahead and uh, cast a agonizing blast on them and try to see if I can stun them. I guess. I did not succeed. The the poison has done its work. <laughs> I'm I've I've tried to do the, the mojo and it just it's just flaccid. Nothing was happening. It's got a real problem. Yeah. Uh, round two. Uh, Leaf, man fang. You aren't really sure what's going on behind you, but uh, you're pretty sure you saw a figure sprint towards the front door. I think it was Brave Sir Felix. Uh, you two are up with your natural and unnatural 20s. All right. Well, I guess I'll, I want to spit ass at him. I haven't done that in a while. Yep. Let's see. Let's see what I have to roll to spit some ass. All right. Nope, that's great. That's even better. Ooh, that's not the best. Um, and I guess I rolled this. Um, yes. I roll that. Ah, mm, mm, mm. you're just randomly rolling dice now, aren't you? <laughs> I am at this point. I'm just going with it. I'm just gonna say yeah. Oh, that's good. Uh, oh, that needs a little bit of work. Uh, I'm not sure uh, how that. Okay, uh, yeah, that. Uh, that looks well, if I did hit him, which I rolled like a, I think I rolled a ten. Uh, nope. But good news, uh, you've managed to spit it all across the wall to the outside. It's a five by thirty foot line. Yep. <laughs> You have now created a window. <laughs> <laughs> I am an architect. You're a something diplomat, right. an architect, a lover. A diplomat. <laughs> uh, Leaf, <laughs> things appear to be going downhill rather quickly. Yeah, I'd say so. Kind of looks that way. So yeah. how, far, how far right now is everybody away from these things? Well, as far as you know, Manfang is about five feet away, but he has just created a uh, circular gap in the wall that is allowing for a nice, cool breeze coming through off the main drag leading up to the temple. It was a tactical move. Probably about the size of a dragon's head, if I had to make a guess. That would be my guess. How appropriate for you. Yes. You think we should just run so he's, is he, he's within five feet of these vipers? Copian yep. within five feet of these vipers. Yeah. To the best of your knowledge, as you take a sideways glance, Copius is probably within five feet. Uh, Felix, the last sane party member, is it's nowhere to gone. be seen. Yeah. I'm not fighting poisonous snakes. That is the last sane party member. You're in the jungle. <laughs> I know. I'm not sticking around for that. <sighs> I think we should just move, move away because snakes... Yeah, I, pretty much. Did I, Copious, can I tell that Copious has been uh, afflicted? Copious is leaning heavily to the right. He's starting to slur his speech. He's looking a lot like Ron Paul. I'm going to cast Lester Restoration on Copious. Right. And, and once again, move away and maintain a, a as much as possible a clear line of vision to the is that, a, is that a touch spell, or can you do it from range? I think it's a touch spell. It's touch. So you're going to have to move. Uh, All right. That may involve an attack of opportunity against you. Well, he's going to be between me and those snakes, so if they're going to attack me, they're going through him. Well, there's snakes on this side. Snakes on this side. <laughs> oh, so there's more than one swarm of damn snakes. Yep, twos and two. Well, I'm sorry. One and two. <laughs> And one keeping watch outside from a safe distance. All, right. all right, just a second, just a second. I have another option. No, that's also touch. I think we uh, I, I, if I can't fight, I'm not moving close to the snake. So sorry, Copious, you're on your own, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's some. I'm, I'm just, I'm going to 
step step back and tell Copious and Man Thing to move away from them. Well, uh, you guys are on opposite sides of the room, so if you step back, you will be closer to Copious. Okay, I'm, I have no idea where we're at at this point. Where's Man Thing? He's right next to you. I right. So you two, are, you two are facing snakes this way. Copious by himself is facing snakes this way. You guys are almost back to back. Okay, so the snakes in front of Man Fang and me are within five feet of us. Yes, the snakes right. in front of Copious are also within five feet of him. You are about ten feet away from Copious. So if you want to retreat, give him the old heel and touch. You are still in between the snakes. All right. Well, I'm going to retreat and give him the healing touch. Woohoo! Uh, you get the finger, <clears throat> the finger, uh, go ahead. And uh, is that just it? Or do you also, uh, give him hit points back for that? No, uh, that, that one is just, uh, it takes care of the poison. Awesome. Uh, Hey, guess what boys and girls, it's time for the snakes. Uh, let's see. Odd, even odd man, fang, even leaf. They will be at disadvantage to try and hit leaf. That that uh, copious is protection from poison. That keeps you. That gives you saving throw advantage. Nice. Uh, five. The snakes one are going after man fang. Uh, odd even. Oops. Uh, Felix is gone. It's going to be copious. <laughs> so on man fang. Uh, Thirteen plus six. Nineteen man fang. It's one above. Yes, there you go. And on Copious, that is a single digit of six plus six. I'm guessing a 12 does not get you this time. It does not. You're feeling the love. Uh, Man Fang, give me a con DC 10 roll, please. Oh, look at that. Two murder hobos. <laughs> does he get to use his plus on that? Or? Yes, he can. This one. No, not this one. This, this one. Give me I barely know it. This one. Right, this one. No, 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 no. Well, you said roll your twenty-sided dice. You need to roll above a ten. Oh. On con. And add in your plus. That doesn't look good. What'd you roll? Did you roll a one? He fumbled it. I rolled it. No, I didn't fumble. I rolled a two. Oh, well, the oh. good news is the bite cost you 12 hit points. Oh. The bad news is I get to roll all four of these bad boys now. <laughs> this is what this I is the part you. that hurts. I hate you. Uh, actually, he got lucky. That's uh, two threes and two twos for 10 more. So you take a total of 22 hit points of damage. I'm leaving the room. I'm jumping out the window I made. I'm got it out. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's not your turn yet. Oh, okay. <laughs> you, shut up. you can MacGyver it out in a minute. Uh, first, we have to hear uh, of from Brave Sir Robin, who is wow. outside. Felix, uh, as you free yourself from the bonds of the tailor shop, I feel good. I feel great. I need an investigation check. <laughs> oh, boy. The dragon spots you and starts shooting acid. 20? Dirty 20? Nice. Now D12 against me. Oh, boy. That's where the problem comes. Nine. Uh, you see the dragon, but it's banking. Uh, so it has not seen you yet. Uh, you... Oh shit! I gotta find a place to hide. Mm -hmm. Temple. I'm uh, not like going towards the temple. temple. That seems like a terrible idea. I will go instead across the courtyard to the the shrine. I think it was mm -hmm. the yeah. crumbled remains of the shrine. <laughs> yes. You gotta hide under a rock. Uh, I was under the impression the shrine had a lot of pews in there. Well, now, the pews are in the Shrine of the Serpent. Damn it. <laughs> uh, you never got into this one because it was protected by the Stone okay. Guardian. Do I see the Stone Guardian anywhere? Uh, yeah, you see him right there. A little bit over there. 
Perfect. some of it over there. He has been shattered as the front canopy has caved in on him. He's got his summer teeth on. I am going to run right by him and try to duck into that shrine. Give me an insight check. Natural 20. Uh, you've seen enough war movies to understand that you are low crawling it into a very delicately precarious pile of rubble. <laughs> but uh, you should be protected from view and possibly a breath weapon attack if that's what you want to do. I think for this turn until that dragon comes back around. Because I saw you said it was banking and it's coming in for another, I assume it's coming back around. That would I'm be gonna, insightful of you. I'm going to lay low here for a round and wait to see what happens. Very good. That brings us to Copious, formerly poisoned bitters. I'm summoning my uh, packed weapon and attacking. Fair enough. Still trying magic. Uh yeah, it's over 20. That should hit, right? Oh, yeah. 14 is your magic number to hit right. these things. Perfect. All right, let's 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 do some damage. Let's get busy. Or, or not. Six. Better than nada. Top of the order. Uh, Man Fang, I understand you wanted to uh, dive through the hole that you created? Yes, I do. Why don't we see if you can hit it using dexterity as your modifier? Or you're going to play a drunken game I like to call Find the Stud. <laughs> you have found the, the stud. <laughs> Give me a con save. You dice are crap. I'm never using these dice again. Stop using a D6. Freaking <laughs> dice. <laughs> yeah, take, take a horrible. Use this one and roll it on the paper. Actually, I, I want to know, does he does he tumble backwards onto the, the vipers? I'm thinking, depending on this con know. roll, he's going to be incapacitated on top of them. I was using this thing. Don't use that. Use the little one. There we go. I got 19. Good news. Uh, you fall onto a table next to the stud that you crashed through by missing the hole in the wall. You are going to take three hit points of damage, uh, and you're a little out of sorts, but you are not stunned. You are on top of a table as the swarm moves about below. Leaf, uh, Captain Dexterity there is not having a good day, and it's up to you to save this rabble of a party. But the, the, but the snakes are right underneath him? Yes, but he is in an elevated position. So set fire Which to the snakes. Which means yeah. the only thing I have to removed. set fire with anything is a spear of flame. I'll set fire to the whole place if I light that bitch up. Yeah. I'm not in disagreement. <laughs> yeah, I know. I the only reason I, reason I haven't door. done it so far is because I can't get anybody to get out of the way. I am way hell in the other building. I was you waiting. read your mind. You yeah, we're going to have a talk when we find your ass. <laughs> I'm going to. I'm gonna get out my flame blade and take a swat at him. Go ahead. You guys have uh, pretty significantly damaged them already. He's gonna make some kind of wet. No, that's uh, copious. Is my mistake. Twenty-one hits. That's nine and five, fourteen. Well, now you're talking. How many bolts of fabric did he set fire to? Uh, a few. <laughs> <laughs> Because only copious is recalled that this was a tailor shop. <laughs> I, you know what? I honestly don't care. At this point in time, if I were you, I would not care either. Absolutely it's starting not. to go south. Uh, 
if I roll odd, they will attempt to hit Man Fang at disadvantage because of his height differential. If I roll even, they will try and snip at Leaf. Copious, you still fight alone, so it's on you. Uh, first off, odd even. Odd five, I will roll disadvantage for Man Fang. A nat 20 and a three. So you <laughs> got very lucky, young man. Nat 20 and a three on copious. You know, I just say everybody, I only had six HP left. That's it. That was close then. Uh, six. Nope. You, you should have more than that. No, I only have six. Did you? Uh, you should have started out with your hit full points? health. Although, no, you know what? He took 12 for the bite. 22. Yeah, and then 10 more for the poison. So he might only have six because he's been hit twice and bounced on the head once. Copious, I rolled a 10. That means 16. Does it get you? Oh, yeah. Uh, 16, yes. Uh, advantage, or is he resistant to poison or? Oh, you lost leaf. I don't know. I don't know that spell. You know what? Roll, uh, roll an advantage while he's figuring out the dice issue. Uh, 19. That was natural 19, so I didn't even add a bonus. Right. You got snake eyes on the bite. <laughs> and you're going to take uh, four, half of four. That is a lot of twos. Uh, seven, halved, three. <laughs> That's about as shitty a roll as you can get. I'll take it. These are mean little vipers. Uh, the they're, they're, the they're very tiny little vipers. Uh, that brings us to Felix. Felix, you have burrowed your way into the debris. You have kind of cocked your head around. Uh, dust is falling into your eyes, and you see the dark shape lining up for another run. Uh, it looks like it's going to go right over the statue and hit that tailor shop head on. What would you like to do? I think what I'm going to have to do is use this tube of disruption. But before I do it, you said it's going to, I want to make sure that nothing's going to fall down and crush me. Yeah, that's going to be kind of the thing. <laughs> Are you, you better get out from under it? If you're I'm going to fall forward a little bit. And as soon as I'm out, I'm going to play the tube of disruption. Okay. Are you going to play it or throw it? Oh, I didn't. I didn't know I could throw it. It, it is just a mithril tube. Oh, interesting. And if I throw it and it hits just right, it'll do its thing. No, oh, most likely. Well, let's <laughs> do its thing, but you won't be holding it anymore. So you're gonna get the full effect of it. So yeah. I vote you throw it. I am not gonna throw it. I do it. too. Throw if, it. If you, not... if you throw it thirty feet, you'll be out of its range. Throw it real Am hard. Am I close enough to this dragon to affect it? Uh, most likely not. Uh, because the dragon is coming in at a very steep angle. Uh, you know what? Give me an insight check. Let's see if you're smart enough to figure this one out. Uh, 15? If you time this right and you can get it close to that statue, it will most likely disrupt the flight pattern of the dragon as it's coming in on its strafing run. A couple of ifs, but you know what? A couple of ifs. Time to be a hero. It's Strap time to be a hero. hero. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do it. So you're going to, I assume, try and time it just right to save. Save your compatriots, you hope, or screw this up really badly. Yes. Fair enough. Your first test is to throw it. So give me an attack roll using dexterity as your modifier. Five. <laughs> okay. We don't have to roll anymore. <laughs> you fling it but you hit your hand on top of one of the rocky shards uh, and it goes about three and a half feet. Bing! And the last thing you remember is this blue thunder wave moving out. 
Uh, you feel heavy compression on your body. Uh, Copious, what are you doing this round? I'm trying to kill the vipers in front of me. Fair enough. All right, what are you going to use, magic or uh, melee? Melee. As you begin your swing, <laughs> you hear a horrible distortion outside. Uh, the few windows remaining in front of the tailor shop explode, sending shards everywhere. Make your swing. Ugh. 13. Uh, almost uh, the shards of glass have made your aim less than true. However, uh, everybody is going to take some damage from the shards. Everybody takes two hit points of damage. Uh, Felix, not you. You're going to take considerably more. <laughs> uh, the good news is as Copius rings his blade off the cobblestones close to the vipers, you hear another horrible screech and a loud swooshing noise. Uh, everybody but Manfang and Felix, i.e. Leaf and Copius, turn to look out the shattered windows and you see the turtle statue outside toppling on its pedestal, causing the dragon to veer off as the dragon spews its acid you can realize that had Man Fang made it out that dragon head sized hole, he would have been partially baked Alaskan and the acid cuts through. New round. <laughs> hey, I just want to say um, I am so close to dying right now. I would really love some healing. Okay. Uh, that would be your grandpa. Yeah, so Leaf, could you, you're muted. What, you couldn't hear me? Yeah, I couldn't hear you, no. Got you, got you covered. All right. I need to wait on my turn to do that, yes? You guys are tied. Okay. You guys uh, are 20s. Well, can I just skip my turn then? So I use healing touch as 18 points. I don't have to touch him to do it. Yay. Healing word, I mean. Fair enough. Oh, easily. You're still conscious, Felix. <laughs> <laughs> Although you are trapped. Uh, it is the Viper's turn, and the Viper's... I'll, I'll be nice. I'll roll for it. Fair. Well, poop. Uh, peppered with the glass, uh, both hordes of Vipers are starting to retreat. Uh, the one with Man Fang and Leaf are hiding directly underneath the table that Man Fang is <laughs> prone out on. The other ones sneak in behind, the ones with Copious sneak in behind a large roll of textile, uh, allowing him the freedom of movement to back away. Uh, Felix, with heavy stones toppled on your back and dust in your lungs. What would you like to do? Uh, cry for my mommy for a minute and then try to figure out, can I reach, do I see the tube of disruption? Yeah, it's, you didn't throw I can't reach it though. Uh, it is it is going to be about three feet out. So you know what? If you can roll a straight up d20, 16 or better, I'll let you just just catch it with your fingernail and drag it forward. I don't think that's going to help me for my what I'm trying to do. I need to get out from under this boulder. You'll, you'll dink it on one of the slat. You'll dink it on something, all the concrete or all the everything. Everything's going to turn to dust. 11. So yeah. Nope. It is, it is about three inches out of your reach. <sighs> your chest is compressed uh you're feeling very tight here uh this could be the end is all you can think of oh, no. um, i will never roll the bones again uh yeah. copious is mia right now so we'll move back to the top of the order man fang uh i assume leaf will tell you don't move they're yeah. right below you 
And then Man Fang will thunder yes. wave the uh, pedestal that the table rests on and knock you right into him. <laughs> uh, Man Fang. Yeah. The snakes are under the table. You need to leap off this way and let's get the hell out of here. They've all retreated for the moment. Let's not wait on the next round with them. Then let's do that. I got no better idea I can think of. Man Fang, you're going to leap off the table to safety. Is that correct? Yes. D12 against me. Oh, Man Fang. Good roll. Big roll. Big roll. Ten. Nine. Uh, you not only manage to leap off the table, the table falls over, creating a shield that separate you and the snakes. You are safe for Good the deal. moment. Uh, Leaf, after giving him the instructions, what would you like to do? Uh, grab Copious and get the hell out of here. <laughs> out, out front where the where the where the black dragon just well, go to the front door and look and see if we see it up there anywhere. Oh, no. It's turning radius is horrible. All right. I don't know where Felix went, you guys, but I think we need to go back to the tavern. <laughs> so that's where we're going, because we don't know where Felix is at. Give me an investigation check, please. Do I, maybe I don't want to investigate. That's true. You well, you know what? I You can roll. I'll tell you what you may or may that sucks. I got a 10 anyway. <laughs> You do not know where he is, uh, <laughs> but you bad. do notice the turtle statue is tipped over, and you see a caustic stream uh, leading almost for a direct hit in the tailor shop you were just in. As you look up and over, you do not see the dragon at this time, so it okay. is below the sight line. So uh, are you going to uh, haul these three over to the tavern? I'm going to haul these two over to the tavern, copious of man fang. Fair enough. As you bust into the tavern, uh, Robert of Zeppelin, Haggis Crabstain, uh, Pierre Glambone, and Phineas Latrec all look at you. Somebody missing? Didn't he hear? Nope. We, we were in the tailor shop next door and got attacked by vipers and he ran out like a scared rabbit. Then we what happened to all our here. windows? Don't know. Thunder? Something dragon like fart? That. Might have been a dragon fart. I heard it pretty dragon fierce. Fart. We'll go yeah. with that. Yeah. Why did I see them at all? Leaving the I'm gonna start whistling. Hopefully someone can Good call. Me. I bet somebody yeah. will come help. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, and, and there are a lot of dust and everything over there in your mouth a little dry. Yeah, a lot of dust, lot of All right. Can I reach the quiver with my arrows? Uh, that's on your back, right? Yeah, probably. Or is it on your side? Because I have no idea. Uh, odd I'm back, start- even side. <laughs> that's a six, Murder Hobo Inc. Uh, it's on your side, so you have a uh, like a scabbard down your leg. A really cool archer. Nice. I'm going to pull out an arrow and try to fish this tube of deception or disruption. Uh, D12 against me. All righty. No one's coming to help the coward over here. Three. Five. You pull out a curved arrow. <laughs> oh. Oops. Which helps you. Uh, give me an attack roll at advantage. Oh, baby. He's going to roll two ones. Uh, what modifier? Any modifier? Uh, I'll give you dex. Perfect. Uh, dirty 20. Uh, you managed to hook it with the arrow, the back points, and you start to drag it along the cobblestone towards you, and it's giving off a faint ringing as you scrape it across the cobblestone. Does anybody hear it? Be Apparently, very, they're very, all inside. <laughs> very, very gentle with it, pulling it closer and closer, and as soon as I can touch it, I'm going to grab it. That will silence it. Yes. 
And then I'm pretty sure, what is it? If I'm holding it, I'm immune to its power or something? You are in the center of the vortex, the eye of the storm. Then I am going, as soon as I can grab a hold of it and silence it, I'm going to tap it on the cobblestone that is hopefully going to knock all that shit that's on top of me off of me. Fair enough. You wrap the mithril tube on the cobblestone. A thunderous blast is heard. Everything emanates out from the tube, uh, partially protecting you. The temple (laughs) on your side goes up and out. Roll me a d20 to make sure nothing comes right back down on you. Eleven. Fair enough. Uh, You send stones scattering everywhere, including the head of the former guardian, as it rolls across the cobblestones into (laughs) the old turtle statue that has been dislodged from the pedestal. A cloud of dust emerges, and you are in white face, or gray face as the case may be, but you are free with a little bit of lumbago to uh, boot. And I am going to grab Copius's lifeless body and run towards the tavern. Now, the, no, the, leave the, the body. Acid, leave it. The, the acid is eating away most of the parts. So, do you just want the head? Uh, yeah, it'll, it'll make a nice addition. <laughs> oh, hey, Copius is back. Yeah, that's what you get for leaving us. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, Copius. I'm to, yes, I'm going to. Once all that is there and done, I am going to realize the power of this tube of disruption and put it into a tube sock, a very crusty tube sock that I have, (laughs) not fall onto the cobblestones and do this again. And I am going to pocket it and hide it, but no one else can see it. Well, is I that can a mineral next... tube in your pocket, or are you just? Yeah, have... <laughs> I'm just thinking of the same thing. Next time when you go into, buddy, <laughs> you can count he's going to be a big hit. <laughs> yeah, be careful about sense. anybody trying to ring your bell if I ring. <laughs> <laughs> uh, meanwhile, back in the tavern, Leaf, Man, Fang, and Copious, all covered in glass, uh, are intently peppered with questions from the four remaining safe individuals as to where the hell's Felix. Everybody, we, don't, we don't know. Everybody roll investigation. Yeah. <laughs> Five. Nineteen. Ah, what does it say? It says nothing good. I don't know anything. You gotta re-roll. So on the also, floor, you gotta roll it again. <laughs> Rolling inside the box. I don't care. Hey, hey. He should play on the floor. <laughs> exactly. 16. Uh, you and Lee, or I'm sorry, you and Copius notice a white coming across the uh, main plaza. This ghostly ethereal creature is grayish and shambling along directly towards the tavern. It's a ghost. Shoot it. Shoot it. Shoot it. Yeah, I'll Shoot attack. It. Kill it. Well, the good oh, news is oh, there's oh, no oh, windows oh. there, so you have a clear clear line of attack. <laughs> you described a wraith coming across. I've been poisoned twice. <laughs> I've been had an explosion go off and blow glass on me. My bell's been rung, I don't know how many times in the last 20 minutes. I'm we gonna carried see you. Ghost coming across the plaza. I'm gonna shoot it. That's right. I'm we had to carry it. you to the tavern. Yeah, Rocky Five it. Uh 11. I go wide. Uh, give me an insight check, Copius. 23. As you loose your missile weapon, you realize, oh shit, that's a party member. Uh, as the wait, 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 it's Felix, though, right? Yes, and yeah, I didn't go, oh shit, it's a party member. (laughs) (laughs) Let's be clear, he (laughs) shot me. He shot you and left you for dead. <laughs> At least twice. At least twice. Uh, Felix, you better start humping because they're going to keep shooting. Yeah, I'm going to bust in there and say to him, first of all, don't shoot me. Second of all, I am so glad you guys are okay. The dragon, went, those snakes, I'm glad you guys made it out. I'm going to explain that I heard the dragon let out a screech and it was coming back to us and I stepped outside to throw my tube of disruption 
off to the other side of the courtyard in hopes to distract the dragon so it didn't spit acid on us again. And then in doing so, that was the loud explosion you heard. It scared away the dragon. I went back over there to look for my tuba disruption and I found it, but I dropped it accidentally when I was picking it up. That was the second explosion. And that's why I'm covered in white face here. Persuasion I'm glad you at guys advantage. Okay. I was, some of that was true. Roll what an advantage? Persuasion? Persuasion. Do you want to borrow Copius's ring first? <laughs> no, I don't think I need it. 16. His story yeah, sounds yeah. plausible to you guys. Uh, I'll say okay. And then that's it. With, uh, his, with his plausible explanation, the rut of uh, acidic uh, substance veering left of your former position and him covered in white face, uh, he's probably still full of crap, but... <laughs> You yeah. should be on your knees thanking me. Otherwise, we all would have been doused in poison back there. Not to mention the snakes. Rave Sir Robin, they will write ballads about your... <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm sure they will. The last sane party member, the hero. Oh, boy. No. Uh, nah. Yeah, band, the band is back together. <laughs> uh, also, the good news is this accidental dropping the second time has blown away the rubble leading to the inside of the temple. Can't hear you there, uh, Leaf. Muted! That's, you didn't want to hear what I said. <laughs> what the hell is the best? I did. We're for mature audiences only, so we can say whatever the hell we want. <laughs> Copious? Yes? Do you need healed? Copious? Yes. All right. That was an abusive encounter for a gnome. You're just lucky I took care of that dragon for <laughs> it was He was on a right. strafing run. It I will have happen. to watch the tape because it all sounds good to me. <laughs> oh, yeah. You'll, you'll have to review what actually happened. <laughs> At nine points, copious. Uh. I'd ask Felix, but I guess I don't really care. Oh, yeah, Felix could definitely use some healing. Uh, when I accidentally dropped that tube of disruption, let me tell you, that thing packs a punch. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, if, you're, if you're doling it out, then why don't you throw a little healing old ling ding ding dongs way? Up to you. Hey, does somebody hear something? Oh, no, must be a <laughs> I have to recharge oh, okay yeah uh, then i guess i'll put my hand out of my pocket and let go of the tube of disruption again no nope, hey. not dropping it i was reaching in like oh you're not going to heal me oh okay you will okay never mind never mind oh was that a threat no 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 felix the party turns ugly <laughs> it's gonna get ugly real quick does anybody have any water? Can I wash all this limestone dust off my face? Pierre and uh, Phineas. Uh, they, they tell you to lay on your back on the floor and they'll get that mud off of you. They suggest <laughs> several yoga poses that would be helpful to uh, ease your sprained muscles. And they offer to help you with downward facing dog. It's called a no miss shower. I think I'm okay. <laughs> I'll look around. I think I have. Uh, I think Copious will get on that one too. Splash a little bit on there. <laughs> Let's get there's it out some, of my eyes. There's some water in the one of the down buildings had. A yeah, pool. there's a pool right across from us. Yeah, it's true. Felix, seriously, there's a pool over there. Yeah, there's a pool of water. Well, I'll stand guard it, for it, you. It went underneath the uh, restaurant. Yep. Restaurante. Yeah. Upscale oh, restaurant. Good yeah. to look at that What's the worst right. that's going to happen? You get a brain-eating bacteria? That's only in <laughs> Texas, really. What the hell? Uh, you know, I'm sure there's not a giant dragon turtle in there that's going to lop your head off. No, <laughs> or, you know, there's still the dragon floating around up top. 
Oh, I'll take a peek outside. Given the, 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 given the WABC is. weather report, uh, we got some uh, adventures down. <laughs> I just want to know if turkeys are being dropped from the helicopter. Um, the greatest, single greatest TV episode of all time ever. Done. That is it. <laughs> that the is tur- the, turkey drop? Yeah. The Last WKRP nice turkey drop. As God is my witness, I thought they could fly. They can if you don't clip their wings. <clears throat> that that is the greatest single TV episode I've ever witnessed in my entire life. Yeah. And just for environment, uh, because Copius is stunned and poisoned and all this sort of thing. Is the tavern still standing, and are we in it? Yeah, you are in it. Okay, it is still standing. There are some holes in the roof that your other four compatriots have not noticed. So it looks like the dragon began the strafing run at the tavern and went straight across. So are we convinced the dragon knows we're here at this point? Oh, it, it knows we're here somewhere. Felix, if you want you want to go clean up in the pool, I'll, I'll go with you and stand guard. Yeah, I think I'm going to need to. It, all right. I don't think I'll be able to handle all this dust in my eyes. So, <clears throat> so because of the dragon, why don't we just move into the tavern and you could, or the, the inn Whatever the hell, the restaurant, and you can uh, clean up in on the inside. It's the same water. Yeah, sure. Because it floats under where the koi used to be. Because tortles love koi. To eat or for aesthetic reasons? To eat. Yeah, I'll be back. Uh, Okay, so uh, you're going to go ahead and move to the tavern or the restaurant. Restaurante. Restaurante. Uh, we'll call it Fazoli's. Uh, Fazoli's, if you want to be our sponsor, go ahead. Uh, we don't really care. <laughs> okay, so he wants to get cleaned up here. You guys are currently here. Who's yep. going out to stand guard? Just uh, Leaf or everybody? I'm going to watch from the tavern uh, entrance where we're at. And then be able to try to, as they're making way across, I'll watch for the skies yeah. as well and just call out to them if something comes. I'll go <laughs> with <laughs> him into the ta- into the restaurant to stand guard. Fair enough. Uh, sculpted icons of fish on plates show that this building appears to have been an eatery of some kind. Withered vines rot on the exterior and in one corner of the structure... Uh, sits out over a water promenade. Upon first glance, you notice murky, fetid water that once probably held fish for consumers to select as a meal. The brackish water does not appear to hold any life currently. Well. It'll get the uh, dust off. Yeah, I'm going to hold my mouth and hold my nose and close my eyes and splash it up there and rinse it off and try not to drink any of it. Did you guys already fight the thing in here? Oh shit! <laughs> oh yeah, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure we killed it. Whatever it was, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Sure. yeah, I don't think you did. Because <laughs> I'm looking at it and I'm like, eh, I don't think they got this yet. <laughs> uh, okay, so bath bring, time, right? Bring it on. <laughs> Felix is not afraid of anything. Right. I took on the dragon. I was outside saving your ass. Uh, so do you want to just dive on in or do you want to reach in and do the pat down? I'm doing the reach in and the pat down. Maybe I maybe I should have asked that question before I pointed out there was something. Oh, no, that's what I said because I closed my mouth and was holding my nose with one hand. And... Fair enough. Uh, Leaf, doing ye old guard duty. Uh, you hear the splashing on the face, uh, followed by a scream. As you turn around, you look over to Felix, and he has a giant leech attached to his forehead. Everybody <laughs> run initiative. <laughs> uh, what's going on? Don't worry, Felix. I got a fireball. Take that right off there. <laughs> Get it off. Get it off. <laughs> At least it, you weren't bathing, because I think we all know where it was going to land then. Stand by me. Uh, just we leave. Thirteen. Leaf. Fifteen. Uh, I also got a thirteen. Leaf, you notice the giant leech sucking on his forehead and him screaming in pain. Copius, <laughs> you look out. No dragon. No dragon. Good. It was a good day. We're 
finally getting that toxin out of my system. I think it's going to be a good day. Uh, really good now. Go ahead, Leaf. <laughs> well, not to state the obvious, Felix, you got something on your head. I know that. He, get it off. He is aware. <laughs> You know, the way to get... Well, leaked. let's see. I could take my saber and try a scimitar and knock it well, off, I the guess. The is off is either... No, let me it. have that fancy dagger and I'll see if I can pry it off there. You know, uh, the I'm going to use my own fancy dagger. Finger under their mouth. I, you know, I'm, I'm going to hand out a non-fancy dagger. They're like a suction cup. You got a I've got a scimitar to use and a mace. Which one do you want me to hit you in the face with? Not the mace. Both, okay. both, both. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, here it goes. I'm going to take the Give tip of the scimitar, <laughs> the tip of the scimitar, take, and see if I can pry this up the, off his Take forehead. the dagger. Take the dagger. Okay. In doing so, <laughs> I tried. you want to avoid the bookends because a critical hit, you're carving into him. A critical miss, you're carving into him. And 19 and 2 will also cause some damage. All right. Jesus. That is priceless. <laughs> what I get for just trying to be the hero and save the party. No. 17. 17 is a surgical strike. How much damage do you do? Uh, not very much. I'm Come thinking, on. Hobo Link. Hobo Link. Hobo Link. Seven. Damn it. Thinking <laughs> training day on this one. Uh, Felix, you and I tied as I suck you. <laughs> Go ahead. Oh, and hey, 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 hey. Attack. Maybe I should have hey, jumped a, right in. Children, show. you can't yeah. say stuff like that. That says Murder Hobo Inc., Felix. That's oh. six. <laughs> six. Six blood damage. Wait a minute. Is that six points of brain power? Is he going to a minus three on his intelligence rolls now? He, he's, yeah. a, he's a rogue. One of us. One of us. <laughs> no. One of us. One of us. Right, two of now. us. Two of us. <laughs> of, of, uh, uh, I'm going to use my mermaid dagger and try to like shave my skin right. Shave this thing right off my skin. Same thing. Avoid the bookends. Oh, boy. <laughs> Not 20. Not 20. <laughs> A four. A four. <laughs> you lightly flick at it, doing no internal damage, uh, and you're kind of sculpting your eyebrows a little bit. Top of the order, uh, Copious, by this time you have heard the uh, childish screams of your colleague. As girlish, he, girlish. Girlish, girlish, as he's getting attacked. <laughs> I'm thinking Starship Troopers right now. Yeah, yeah. So Copius breaks out into maniacal laughter. <laughs> I'm, I, going to, uh, I'm going to roll, actually, to see if I can... An inside roll to see if I go... Uh, that's just him being him. The water's or, probably like, cold. Yeah, the water's cold. Let's see, 15. That sounds like I probably picked up that it's actually a... Yeah. I'm going to take a look, take a pause, make sure there's no dragon in the air. There uh, is not. Uh, I might, I'm going to go ahead and use the bathroom before I go across there as well. Sure, just yeah, in case, you know, because you don't want drink. to pee yourself. Yeah. Yeah. I don't, don't want to do anything like that. And, and then I'll sort of saunter my way across towards the. Me and my shadow. What's going on, guys? Uh, leave top of the order. <laughs> You, you you have skillfully sliced this uh, bloated creature that seems to be growing by the minute. The visual oh, is a giant blood sack on his head. <laughs> me, Frank. Did you ever see The Lost World or what was it with? Uh, Land of the Lost. Land of the Lost with Will Ferrell. <laughs> That's what it looks like. Oh, it's right here on his forehead. <clears throat> you look like a giant sucker fish in the uh, aquariums at the pet store. <laughs> Just got the lamprey on you. What are you going to do, Leaf? I'm going to tell Felix I can take another swat at it if you hold still. Get it off! <laughs> Dude, one bad roll and you're going to be a deep shit. <laughs> I 
Something's got to happen. Six. Uh, he is also manscaping your eyebrow. Uh, you and I have tied. We're the scimitar from four feet away. How was that? I am going to uh, devour a little bit more of you, but only two this time. I'm probably getting full by by this time. Uh, you and I attack at the same time. So I think ahead. it should make them lose intelligence. Doing the same thing here. Over too long. It should make them lose intelligence. This mermaid dagger. <laughs> Uh, 12? Oh, yes, 12 hits it. For how, how do I give you uh, damage for that? The, the mermaid dagger is 1d4 plus 2, is it not? I have no idea. One for strength and one for magic? Let's do it. Four points. Uh, Felix, with his culinary knife skills peaking, flicks through the creature's mouth, Flattering blood everywhere, his own blood, uh, but slices deftly through the creature and the pieces fall to the ground as copious V bitters, uh, uh, jazz hands his way into the restaurant. He looks over and sees both Felix and Leaf coated in blood uh, and ponders, I thought you were cleaning yourself up, dumbass. <laughs> you also notice He's got this huge suction ring on his head. Sucker bite. Is he? Is his skin like gray and ashen from blood loss now too? Important thing is, does that blood yeah. seem attractive to you, Copius, right now? No, because I'm pretty sure he has syphilis. So I don't want anything to do with this guy. Yeah, okay. watch out! That blood just spurted on everybody standing near me. Uh, that which was not that would be me. me. You oh, get syphilis. You I get just syphilis. want to point out I walk in and see these two guys standing next to each other, covered in blood. I'm like, I don't know what you guys are doing. I'm not part of this, and I'm leaving. <laughs> Farewell, so long. <laughs> Avi to <laughs> say goodbye. <laughs> yep. I'm gonna wipe my face from the blood and just be like, let's get back in the tavern. Beef, uh, does that, that sound like a plan to you? Leaf, are you, are you good with that plan? I'm ready to go. I need healing. So, yeah, you, let's get back to the You guys tavern. make your way back to the tavern, and as you enter, uh, Copius, Phineas, Pierre, Haggis, and Robert all turn to the doorway, see you, and double over laughing and pointing at you as it looks like you guys have suffered horrific wounds as you're just literally dripping blood all over you. And you, of course, have the giant O on your head from where the uh, leech had attached itself to. Uh, and then Robert looks at you. <clears throat> you okay, buddy? <laughs> no, I am not okay. Cause you gotta, you gotta, you got like a thing right here. <laughs> right here? Not here, not here, right here. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe the blood off my head on uh, the back of Felix's robes. That's quite all right. Give me back my blood, please. I would like all my blood blood back. I am. There you go, buddy. I, I need it all back. I'm I've, gonna... I've, I'm, I'm fine. <laughs> okay. and I'll, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and open one of my bottles of Johnny Walker and just take a slug and just rinse out my mouth. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'll, I'll, I'll spit it on the alcohol? floor. Some uh, alcohol here? Yeah. That's a party foul right there. That, don't spit my blood on the floor. Give it back to me. Everybody oh, no, no, no. Blood no blood. No blood. I need a little jar. I need to just get this back into my body, and then get I will be... Get it in his mouth. Get it in his mouth. You need to find the Eve Arden shop around the corner that you haven't been to. Maybe, you know, get a little pasty mat. <laughs> Put a little foundation on. Yeah. Spit it in his mouth. Uh, also, you will notice that somebody has done a number on both eyebrows is it looks like he's been inducted into a gang of some kind where he has slashes <laughs> at irregular angles. 
You know, it just dawned on me. I think when you were talking about bookends, you were referring his, to his ears, weren't you? No. Yeah, I was 20s and 1s. <laughs> okay. But yes, that, w- that would apply. I did not consider that. Yeah. Yeah, well. Yeah, because if you're too good or too bad, yeah, that's not a good thing. Yeah. <laughs> and you actually trusted me to take swings at that thing? I couldn't get it off myself. Too bad Copious wasn't there. He'd have got it off there for you. Oh, I'm sure he would love With a ballot. All right, if you're done farting around, Felix, let's head to the temple. Uh, I need some healing first, please. <laughs> I'm recharging. I'm not healing right now. Don't you guys still have potions left? Yeah, he does if he takes time to use a damn thing. I'm stingy. I didn't want to have to, but yes. Yeah, I kind of like <laughs> How do you feel now? I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel fine. I think they're die eight, aren't they? Yeah, I got a couple of them. Die eight plus two or something like that? Yeah. Yep, no ones. Yep, two die eight. Oh, wait. You got, you got a good one in there. Two D eight plus four. Yeah, I got a two D eight eight plus two, but no ones. I already used my one D eight plus two. I guess it's 2d8 plus 4 on me. I think you need it. Could have hit up Robert to see if he would. You don't think I need it? I think you need it. (laughs) I think I need it too. Yeah, Robert's sitting on his. A a 7 and a 1. Reroll the 1. That's what I thought. Ooh, a 7 and an 8. There you go. 15 plus 4, 19. Feeling good now, Carrie. (laughs) <laughs> exactly you are yeah, yeah, good one good one i i did not think of that one that yeah, is good. that's good what is going sissy <laughs> i think that i have all my blood back you're you're looking a whole lot better there's the there's a dark outline where permanent the, scarring yeah uh, I right, didn't really die, otherwise it would have been man fangish. <laughs> I'm gonna look around for like an empty jar or jug or just Oh, there's tons oh. of those in here. None. There are a few that are filled with perhaps yellow wine. Yeah, I'm gonna dump all that out and I'm gonna wring all the blood that I can into this jar for safekeeping for later. I need to find a person to get it back into me so that I will be totally sane once again. Sure. Uh, hopefully nobody's uh, lycanthrope. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> I'm going to talk. I'm going to go up to Leaf and just nudge him and, and point at Felix and go, "Does this look normal to you?" No. He better I'm keep gonna, a, and he better keep, keep look a at close eye on that jar. As I'm wringing it off my clothes, you're smiling maniacally and you're doing a thumbs up. <laughs> 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 Don't worry, Jack. I got my blood. It's okay. I got my blood. When Makes we perfect get back sense to me. I will find somebody to put it back into me. We'll be perfect. Okay, okay buddy. Uh, Robert Haggis point out, look, genius bar. We're going to go out and try and forge some food. Otherwise, we're going to start starving tonight. So what are you guys going to do? Going to the temple. Since we're still trying to get to the, We've been trying to get to the temple for... <laughs> Uh, well, almost time. Uh, an hour and 15 minutes. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's head to the temple right now. Head now. I, I'm looking up first. There you go. Uh, still <laughs> no dark shadow in the sky. Uh, Let's not dilly dally around. Let's get the hell over there. Where's Man you, Fang? You sprint, right there. A, you sprint across the plaza. You notice again, confirming Felix's uh, account that. Somehow, some way, some reason, the acidic, caustic nature uh, veered off at the last second, possibly due to the turtle statue being knocked over. Uh, you see just a catastrophe at the old temple, but the guardian is in multiple pieces and is everywhere, including the head over by the turtle statue. Uh, there is a cracked, dark opening that presumably leads into the temple Uh, the main portion of it has suffered significant construction damage in the form of fissures and cracks Uh, but audibly uh, you don't hear any uh, so you would deem it safe that being said everybody perception check at disadvantage 
Well, you have a disadvantage. You really did the number. Nine. Nine. When you're doing disadvantage, is that without your, your bonus? Nope. Roll two, two dice, take the, take the low. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Nine. Yeah. Okay, 22. Six. Uh, as you guys sprint across, Leaf takes a slight moment to look back at the temple up at the top of the incline, and you notice an egg-shaped statue kind of tilted atop Grr. the roof. That son of a bitch. <laughs> That was my only fear, was that damn dragon was trying to find that egg and stick it back up there. He did. Yeah, if, <laughs> if we were out there trying to finish the egg, he'd have found us, too. That is also accurate. That dragon's got to die. Felix, go kill the dragon. Felix, the dragon has uh, the rest of your blood. Huh? <laughs> Potato. <laughs> uh, All right, that's fine. You guys reach the darkening, darkened opening of the temple. Uh, who wants to plunge in first if they can see in the dark? I will. Uh, the, the gnome is three feet tall, and is it still hard to get through everything? Oh, no. It seems to have been blown clear. <laughs> uh, Leaf goes in. Copius goes in. Uh, Manfang and Felix, what do you think? Uh, I'll follow those guys because I can't see in the dark. Okay. Matt Fang, can you see in the dark? No, I'll put my hand on your back. Uh, the back of the yeah. shrine has a thick layer of carbon uh, appears from an intense fire. The stone altar itself is cracked and has fallen in upon itself. Silver altar pieces are scattered along the floor and worth a total of 450 gold pieces. They are etched in strange carvings. One word that you can kind of make out is kagor. K-A-G-O-R. It is duplicated around the rim of the goblet as well as the ceremonial plate. Uh, everybody who can see DC 17 versus investigation. <clears throat> Anybody who can't see investigation at disadvantage. <clears throat> 17. Nope. Nine. Copious. Copious. He's frozious. I think he is. <laughs> uh, Leaf, you got enough to find it. You will find a silver circlet that is partially melted. Right next to it is a small fire opal gemstone. Uh, it is tucked away in the cracks of the cobblestones. Hmm. This, I will pick that up. This item does not appear to be damaged by fire. Pick that up. Everything Can't else in it. here appears to have been a victim of emolliation. Uh, it is burnt, cracked, destroyed. The silver somehow survived as it was underneath the uh, altar itself. Uh, a quick investigation yields the information or yields to you that fireball was set off in this place. Dragon fire something of intense heat i mean hot enough to crack the stone altar so but this there was a circlet and a fire opal that the, had not the been melted damaged. the melted circlet the fire opal was not damaged at all okay okay fire the circlet silver circlet melted. is the opal is, was good yeah the yeah. circlet is irrelevant it might only yeah. fetch two three gold pieces <laughs> that okay. is it in this room there is no back door to it there aren't even any skeletons uh, but noting this is the temple this is the temple of Cargon where the warrior statue preventing you from going in once stood alright I'm going to cast detect magic as long as I'm here uh, the stone is magical okay the one that I picked up. Correct. So, yes, this is the temple where you are at. 
Okay. There's no doors or windows inside here. Um, Not anymore. Then I, I guess. Felix. <laughs> You're welcome. If that's all that's here, I mean, we can gather up the silver that's here. 450 gold pieces worth. Or we can, I don't really feel like dragging it right now. Well, we should go ahead and. Uh, it, it's a goblet and a silver plate. All right. We can gather yeah, that up. There were altar pieces. Or yeah. That's those two pieces. Um, <clears throat> well, that, so if we go back out and head south. There's a building immediately to our south, right? Correct. And then we can follow the road that follows the wall at that point. Yeah. You're talking. Is that a road or an alley? You're talking this area? Yeah. Yeah. That is a small alley yep. set up against the stone uh, retaining wall. Okay. Is that yep. how you want to go? Follow that. Yep. Uh, everybody give me an uh, investigation check as you leave, please. Um, 20, dirty 20. 17. 8. 14. Uh, everybody but Felix notices that there appears to be a harsh grinding as if a diamond uh, bladed axe maybe went through and clipped all of these buildings of course you can't tell on this one because it's been reduced to mostly rubble uh and up against a tipped over tree uh is a pretty wide gash in the wood it looks as though uh maybe that egg came to a rest here uh but it ain't here anymore because leaf <whistles> spotted it up on the roof again do we want to go check to see if any diamonds knock themselves off on this path? If he heated diamonds up enough, can you melt them? No. no. Can't let diamonds like can So investigate for loose diamonds? Yeah. That's yeah. Right. yeah. You yeah. guys leave the friendly confines of the city uh, outside. Parrots and other colorful birds adorn the jungle basin as it were uh you can see some coconuts you can see some banana trees outside you go over to the cracked tree and you notice that uh you know what everybody straight up d20 we'll do it the easy way eight i had a 13 man fang 15 uh man fang leaf and felix uh felix roll a d4 man fang a d8 <clears throat> and leaf a d6 multiply that times 100 and that is the stone that you found nice man fang yeah. times 100 you said d8 times 100 100 what was mine? D4? Six. D, D6. Mm -hmm. okay. I Come on, Murder Hobo Inc. Let me down. Too bad. Two. Damn dice. 200 gold piece gem. However, as you each reach down to pluck your jewel, you notice shaking getting more intense. Everybody roll initiative as a large pachyderm bursts through the jungle at you. 12. <laughs> well, Frankie has 17 plus whatever, and I had 10. Uh, the pachyderm also got a 17. Uh, so uh, it will go after... Mm, one, two, three, four. Ah, uh, two. Felix <laughs> headed right for you. Apparently, oh, it's zoned in on that circle like a big old target. Uh, let's see. Uh, I will go ahead and see if I can attack or if I hit the tree. <clears throat> uh, 17 plus 10. Oh, 27. 
Uh, what am I going to do? Gore or stomp? Uh, I'm going to gore. Okay. There is a how many how many hit points do you have before I roll this? Uh, thirty. Oh, pff, you'll be fine. I mean, the max I can do here is thirty nine. <laughs> Uh, two eights, <laughs> a one and a three, so 20 damage. Uh, as you are gored with a large ivory tusk, uh, almost inserting itself into the tree. Uh, Leaf, uh, did you want to roll for Man Fang? Yeah, grandma grabbed him, so Ooh. what's he got? He's got an axe. Seven. Uh, 22. Easily hits. Easy to hit and the back. And that's a die at 12. Plus five. That's 15. Nicely done. That is nice. Uh, next up is the 12. Copious V bitters. Uh, since the pachyderm was so intent on somebody else, can I sneak attack this thing? You can indeed, because it is engaged with Felix. All right, I'm going to sneak attack it then. 22. I'm Easily. Uh, Easy to hit, hard to kill. 12 points. Chopping it down to size. Uh, two tens, uh, Leaf and Felix. <clears throat> Go first, Leaf. Oh, that's a 19. Yep. I just don't do that much damage. Uh, five. Okay. Ooh. Uh, I'm attacking with two short swords. One was a natural 20. Nice. Damage, damage yeah. modifier. All right. So five plus another five, 10 plus three, 13. Uh, did you hit on the other one? No, the other one missed. Fair enough. Uh, that brings us to the end of round one. Everybody roll perception. 18. 18. 24. All three of you notice this creature has painted lines on it. And it's not a birthmark. Uh, top of the order, Man Fang and myself, I am going to foot stomp somebody. And that is a one. I'm going to try and stomp the draconian. Uh, eight plus 10 is 18. I think I need a 19 to hit him. What's his AC? <laughs> his armor class is 18. I stomped the shit out of him. <laughs> yeah, with or without that turtle shell. Uh, I don't remember. Yeah, I haven't hit him enough today. Whew, hit him this time. <laughs> hit the shit out of him. Uh, he's going to suffer 22 hit points of damage as he cracks Damn. down on his uh, MCL uh, and trumpets loudly in doing so. Uh, Leaf, you can go ahead and have Manfang return fire. Manfang gets the hit now? Yep. Come on. 20. Give me 20. Give me 20. Give me a yeah. one. Give me a one. Yeah, let me throw it on the floor. Uh, 19. That hits. Yeah, where'd it go? Oh, well, it's a good thing I got more than one. Jason, you need to be saving this particular video for the hearing. <laughs> <laughs> you can dub over the soundtrack. Oh, where? where's my sphincter medicine? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It at 13. It carving him. Uh, next up, uh, 12, Copious. Uh, it is still engaged with someone else. I am going to start moving away uh, so I'm not in melee range and cast a spell instead. Okay. 
yeah, 20, dirty 20. Yep. I'm thinking that one hit. Eight points. Uh, next up are the twin tens. So Felix and Leaf. I'm a twin. Does a 10 hit? A 10 does hit. Oh, wow. All right. Five. It is not currently armored. Currently? Five plus seven. How does that work? 12 damage. Hey, wait till you see this thing turn back into a person. It's a wear beast, Felix. It's a wear elephant. Well, it just bored me, so then I guess we're all wear beasts. It's a, it's a male <laughs> wear beast. Uh, I'm leaf. well aware. He bored me pretty good. <laughs> leaf, you're up. Okay. Right in the prison wallet. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I want damage because I know what you're storing there. <laughs> Woo. That's bad. You guys are just bad. bad, 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 bad. Ooh. Well, what the hell? We learned it from you. So, what's your point? He oh, just no. keistered Felix the rogue. <laughs> 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 As your feet hang out of his rectum, you'll find a disadvantage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <he's sorry>. uh, <laughs> yeah, that's not some place that Felix isn't, you know, <laughs> unfamiliar with. Fortunately, the blood act as a lubricant. <laughs> To allow oh, you to escape easily. <laughs> but your forehead will make a weird. <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm going to go ahead and uh, leave the room. It's off limits. There, oh, there are no limits. <laughs> I hit it again. Here, here. Hobo Inc. after dark. <laughs> Murder Hobo <laughs> Inc. Six, seven, seven points. Eh, not bad. Uh, it, it's starting it to. Just bleed a lot but this brings us to new round uh let's go ahead and let uh, the dragonborn attack first before me come on <laughs> drink my way minute, wrong dice wrong uh that'd be 18 mm -hmm, that hits he's the uh, 12 plus five That'd be 11 plus 5, 16. Ouch. Uh, bad news, though. It rears its head and sends its uh, tusk right at Leaf for a gore. Yeah. 9 plus 10 is 19. Uh, barely felt. Barely felt not. <laughs> uh, boy, a lot of D8s. A lot of D8s. That's not good. Well, that's better than I thought. 25 hit points of damage, and give me a dexterity or acrobatics check. Your choice. Who, me? Yep. See okay. if you land on your feet. Felix was pinned up against a tree, so I didn't have to check him. <laughs> and what ca what's causing the dex? I rolled a natural 20. The slashing of the tusk. <laughs> okay. Knocking him off his feet. Okay. Uh, he only takes the gore damage. He does not uh, lose footing. That brings us to uh, copious V bitters. So what was my total damage again? Uh, 24. Okay. Whew. Barely felt it. Is that all you got? I'm not talking tough. I'm still back <laughs> further away. Yeah, I was going to say, you're currently out of distance. So. Yeah, I'm going to shoot that sucker again. Uh, yeah, 22. And 30. you can do sneak attack. Ooh, I'll take sneak it, attack. it is engaged. Uh, we'll do that. What's the bonus on a spell for sneak attack, though? Oh, spell? Never mind. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, I was going to say it's a spell. I thought you were shooting arrows at it. No, no, no. Spell cast, spell cast, spell cast. <clears throat> 12 points, though. Uh, it is starting to weaken at the knees. Uh, the twins might be able to put it down, Felix and Leaf. Come on, Felix. Does a nine hit it? A nine does not hit it. Okay, so I hit it one for 
Five points. Leaf, this thing is trembling substantially as blood pours from its copious amount of wounds. Uh, can you finish it off? You know, I'm sure that that was a clever joke, but it will be lost in space because he's muted. <laughs> no, he's still muted. <laughs> he's quite animated. I think I think that was for show, though. I was pretty much, I would just go, blah, 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 blah. That is a 15. That is good enough to hit it. Yeah, if I only did some damage. That is five points. Can I drink a potion at the same time? Uh, you can use it as a bonus action. However, the pachyderm squeals, trumpets loudly, rears up on its legs. One it will fall towards Felix. Son of a bitch. Uh, actually, one it will it will land towards the party. The other three it will not. One. So. I have one, two, man, fang, three, four, Felix, five, six, leaf, the druid. This is going to be some significant bludgeoning damage as this fat Damn ass is over. Three, Felix, give me a dexterity check to see if you can dodge having a giant elephant land on you. Run, Felix, run. 22. Uh, leaping precariously into a prickly bush, uh, the large carcass misses him. Uh, Felix stands up and he has found a blue raspberry bush. So along with all of the red blood, he now has dots of blue on him. But he is not injured. I think he's got the pox. <laughs> uh, again, uh, as the creature lay dying, you all notice that it is covered in war paint. I want to check check the uh, markings and see if, with an, like an arcana check or a history Ar check. Arcana check will work. Uh, la, 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 la. Not a very good arcana check, but could be worse. Uh, 16. You know, man, these look familiar. Uh oh. What the hey, heck? Where's Robert when you need him? Where did you... You know, wasn't there an elephant at the stables in town? Ah. You can't, you're kind of thinking there was. You kind of think there was. Yeah, there was an elephant because yeah. Knucklehead wanted, wanted the elephant. Yeah, that. you know what? You don't, but you know what? You don't remember any markings on it. But you know, come to think of it, this thing smells like it. it smells You're like positive. It. But you think maybe this is the same elephant from the stables. All right. So, uh, no, my little gnomish senses are going off. My gnomish senses. <laughs> and I'm going to look at Leaf and go, Oh, shit. I think this is the elephant from back in town. We don't know who brought it here, but it has war paint on it. I'm worried that some of those uh, cat creatures are here yeah. or outside of here, or somebody's here about to scope this out. I don't know why there's nobody riding this thing. Oh, they probably didn't want to be part of the action. They're probably watching us. Then. So I want. Did this thought. thing carve a path through the jungle? Most definitely. I'm. I'm from wondering. outside the wall. I wonder. I wonder if that uh, if somebody got attacked. Yeah. There's no. The only reason this thing would be going on rampage like this, maybe it was wounded before we even got to us. Well, I, I'm going to see if we. See if we can't backtrack a little bit, trying to hide in shadows as we go. Well, you know, in the jungle, we'll try to be a little sneaky and backtrack just to see what we can find. Uh, it doesn't take you very long to find a leather retaining strap, which, using proper scientific methodology, you would surmise that it carried something 
strapped to the elephant's belly. Uh, a few more hundred yards as you delve deeper into the jungle carved out by the pachyderm's progress, you notice several bags, leather bags, that appear to have been oh. part of some kind of saddle or other type of sitting device atop the pachyderm. It probably wouldn't hurt to examine the inside of those bags for a clue. Yeah. Well, if nothing else, see if, if it's food, see what kind of food, if it's mechanical devices, any kind of devices, see if there's alcohol. Felix. Wait a minute. I recognize that smell. Yeah, we're probably wow. laying in a pile. Yowie, yowie, wowie. Yowie, wowie. Yowie, wowie is oh, present baby. in the bag. All right. Not a lot. Smuggler. Drug dealers. The cartel. <laughs> Drug smuggler. <laughs> the cat tell. The cat tell. Damn it, he got it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got you. The Indian drug dealers. The Indian drug dealers. The tabaxi cat tell. Yeah, the cat tell. I'm surprised Felix hasn't partaken of a little cattail. I think Felix is going to have to after getting gored. Everybody roll perception. <laughs> Nine. Six. Wow. Ten. Uh, everybody but Leaf is currently examining the bags. Leaf you kind of do the sideways, and you notice that the swath cut through the jungle is pretty significant. This thing's probably been on the run for quite a while, uh, but way off in the distance, your half-elven sight kind of picks up movement, kind of headed this way. Guys, there's something headed this way. Something wicked this way comes. Well, Let's hightail it back to town and get hidden fast, but let's not right. leave the meowie wowie. Yeah, I get the meowie wowie. That, that, that meowie elephant meowie. was going to feed us for the entire return trip. <laughs> yeah. Was. <laughs> uh, there may be some tabby sticks in there, too, if you know what I mean. Are you taking the bag or just the meowie wowie? Oh, we'll take the bags. Take the bags. Okay, fair enough. You guys hump it back. Uh, you break into the gates. I assume you're going to skip the alleyway and go straight to the tavern. You head straight for the tavern and you notice a nice, nice smell for once greets you. Uh, mm. It smells like boar. Uh, and inside there is a fire pit with Haggis, Robert, Phineas, and Pierre all watching a small little boar turn on an old spit and they're like we got some grub looks like we're gonna have a long <laughs> night of eat. well we better get our butts hidden somewhere before and then we're gonna relay that folks are heading this way and we got nailed by a giant pachyderm <laughs> and i think it was a dire pachyderm that wasn't a normal elephant right we all we're all in agreement with that sure well, at least felix is pretty sure it wasn't but I'm, he's, the I'm only, he's the only sane one here. I'm concerned if Felix smelled it from out in the uh, courtyard that whatever's following the trail of pachyderm and they find it dead is going to come right in here and smell the same thing. So they're heading this way, possibly. Yeah. Let's just go take a bath in the koi pond. Yeah, go ahead. I'll watch for you. I'm sure there was only one leech in there. Yeah, yeah. I, I've heard. There's only, they're very yeah. territorial. There's only one leech in a pond at a time. That's right. <laughs> you know, maybe what we need to do is put up some welcome signs outside the tailor shop so that whatever's coming won't think that's a good, safe place to, you know, spend the night. Travelers enter here. Yeah. Because both swarms of poisonous steaks are still alive. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Let's do both, that. Both of them, yeah. I, I'm seeing a Mel Brooks film right here. <laughs> you want to put up a toll booth at the front gate, too? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Only nickels. Somebody's <laughs> got to go back to town and get us a shitload of nickels. <laughs> I love that movie. I've got an uncut version of it somewhere. That, uh, that movie, when we used to work the uh, football games, we played from our car on the PA. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, well. Uh, yeah. Bad news. Everybody hears a loud screech. By now, you are quite familiar with yeah, it. Yeah, we're familiar with it. The creature yeah. is high in the sky. Uh, your four colleagues, however, are already slicing off some meat, and it does smell delicious. This looks like a good place to stop, literally, for yeah. the night. Uh, Frank Sr., what'd you think? We on the right uh, side here? <laughs> I had a ball with it. I, I, this has been a lot of fun. A lot, it, too, so many situations, you never know what the hell's coming up next. And bad things. One bad thing things after another. Yeah, oh, yeah. Well, that's <laughs> what I mean, of course. And the uh, only thing that we've really been able to count on is if there's an encounter of some kind, Felix is going to run, probably shoot somebody in the ass with a bow. <laughs> That's that's true. Uh, hey, but you know what? I understand he's a hero, and if you uh, knock him on the crotch, you'll understand exactly why yeah. he's a hero. Yeah, yeah is that, what, is it, what's that in your pocket, Felix? Are you just glad to see us? He's happy to have survived this long. Oh, this long <laughs> eight-inch rod? Uh, Jason, what'd you think? Uh, I, I'm really curious to see where this is going next, mainly because we now have a drug cartel apparently coming in. We have a dragon that's certainly stalking us and knows something it doesn't like is in the, the Nazumi ruins at this point, separate from the were rats and the other creatures. Apparently. Yeah. And while it's going after whatever's coming after us, we can slip back up on the well, roof and knock I'm, that egg off again. I'm hoping that it's going to eat that elephant. Uh, at this point, I think we should just go all Kong Island and start worshiping the damn thing and feeding whatever to, as a sacrifice to it. It'd be the safest way out of here. But I, oh, I'm, island. I feel wealthy enough at this point, And I'm starting to think that, uh, Copious V bitters is seeing that uh, New Horizon would be a good thing to explore and get out of the Nozumi ruins sooner rather than later. That's eh. fair. Yeah. Hey, probably. AJ, what do you think? Yeah, I'm. Uh, I, I thought today was a great day. I <laughs> I got all my blood back. It's perfect. Uh, a lot of twists and turns. I'm really curious to see. Yeah, like Jason said this uh, cat tell and what they're bringing to us. But I think that I am also ready for a, to get back to town, to get to an apothecary or a druggist to help get my blood back inside me. Felix, you left the blood in a tavern when we went out. Did you kind of wonder what they're basting that boar with? I was going to say oh, something no. got marinated. <laughs> there is lots of good stuff over there. It's fine. Uh, it little... smells so good. So familiar. It did smell kind of familiar. Hmm. Little Frank, now that you've just taken a drink, what do you think? <laughs> the beauty of video. I know. It's um I thought it's been pretty good, even though I missed a quarter of it at the very end. <laughs> you died it? twice. Mm -hmm. They brought you back the first time, but not the yeah, second. Felix picked your pockets and stole all your stuff, but other using your right. skull as a helmet. <laughs> yeah. You lost a few more brain points too. So or is that, is that even possible? Does that the that circlet he's wearing do anything at all? Man fang? Yeah. Not yet. Lightning rod. Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, fits him. That's that one we found in that that temple of the Serpent. The serpent Nagas, temple. yeah. Well, can I just go up to a tree and go kinda kinda ha and see if anything comes up? Sure. You can do whatever you want. I'm doing that. Folks, this has been Murder Hobo Inc. Right now, but. <laughs> the Margu campaign. Follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to buy our stuff, which I don't seem to have any right now, it's down there. If you want to join us in Discord and chat about d d it's down there. Most importantly, if you want to join us on a one-shot or the talk show, M Hobo Inc. Twitter, uh, now that I'm out of jail again, and Gmail. Go <laughs> ahead and uh, shoot us an email or shoot us a contact and we will see what we can do. Thanks, Pyro Dog Dice, for giving us dice that rolled really well for me today. I'm really happy. happy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and make your game smell a whole lot better with oddfishgames.com because Adventure Sense, no matter how poopy life gets, Felix, Adventure Sense will make it all better. Thanks for joining us, folks. Have a great rest of the weekend. We will see you on Tuesday. Goodbye, everybody. Wave goodbye. We're ready. <laughs>